so then Tony Schiavone was in the ring for the Don Fallis family ceremony with Hobbs and Take a Shit and Cal Felcher because it was Boxing Week celebration because they're, you know, the Canadians up there. They've, they've got these strange customs. Some Canadians celebrate Boxing Day after Christmas. Some Canadians get kicked out of hotels in the greater United Kingdom area. They've got strange customs. <laughs> but Felcher, to me, looked badly out of place here because Hobbs and, and our boy Take, they look great. And if they would... Where is Take a shit been, by the way? If, if they'd followed up on him, he was getting over it. All of a sudden, read deep, read deep. Uh, but they look great, and Felcher looks like the goddamn guy who got rejected at the Leave it to Beaver remake casting call in a suit. It just... And they got all got paintings of themselves with, with him, with Don, uh, as presents for Boxing Week, but they didn't uncover the fourth painting. And he did say, finally, the, the family is complete here, and then Sammy Guevara's music hits and interrupts, and Brian, what was the mood of the crowd at that point when Sammy came out? It was a groan. They did not want Sammy. They don't see Sammy as a baby face. He's kind of killed a lot of that in the past. He's turned back and forth so many times. This but they segment didn't see was already... he, They didn't know he was going to switch yet. They didn't see him as a heel either. They saw him as a baby face. They all knew he just had a baby because those are the AEW fans. They know that shit. This segment was already dying a horrible death because Don Callis' segments always suck. And this one was as bad as all of them. And again, had they follow up on Takeshita, got a big win. Then I think he lost in like a tag match or something. Then he's just been like in the background in a group. We haven't seen shit from him. We literally haven't seen him take a shit. If anyone watches AEW TV regularly, why would you want to see Sammy Guevara come out here for this? Well, he was mad at Don. I think they thought the immense nuclear heat that Don has were random Press photographers in Tijuana try to tackle him on an annual basis. Conan! 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 He didn't get his baby gift. Sammy didn't. Apparently. You know, uh, Don's like, oh, all this. Well, I just didn't know you were going to be here. Didn't know you were going to show up for work. You're on maternity leave or whatever. And he reveals the fourth painting, and it's all of the heels there with Sammy holding Sammy's baby. <laughs> Which you... You know, actually, it was kind of a, a cool thing to have made like that. You know, if, if it, I, although I thought at first they were holding a small chimpanzee. But nevertheless. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you say that? Well, it looked like an ugly child. So apparently, but Sammy didn't say anything about that. We don't know what the model for the artwork was. No, it, it could have been Cheetah. It could have been, but but nevertheless, the point is, is that Sammy was incensed about this. He said, who the hell told you to put my baby in the picture? Maybe he don't want that baby to be seen. I don't know. I'm, I'm like you. If I had a baby like that, I'd take it to the plastic surgeon and say, can you make him look right? He, the surgeon added a tail. What do you mean but you're anyway, like me? So I didn't say that. <laughs> but anyway, so of course, then Don immediately starts knocking Sammy in the way that to telegraph not only that they're about to, he's about to turn, but also in a contrived way that you would not do if you were not intending on turning on the guy to begin with in the first place. So it's right, it's a foregone conclusion. And he tore him down, Sammy, never. You know, you never show up. You're a hurt loser that hadn't shown up for work in five months or whatever. So choose your other family or my family. I can't see Bill Watts having produced this particular big angle here. And sh sh Shammy. 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 How oh, I love you. How oh, I love you, my dear old Shammy. Shammy. Shammy shoves. <laughs> Sammy shoves. <laughs> Here's what Sammy did. He shoved 
Don down. <laughs> Sammy shoves Don down. <coughs> and the heels get on Sammy. And then Jericho's music plays. And because this was probably hours, maybe, before the the uh, the news was being bandied about, the rumors and accusations, whatever, they didn't really boo him. They just did, still didn't give a shit. But Jericho used his baseball bat to run the heels out and then broke the frames on the paintings. And every time he'd hit one of those fucking frames and it'd shatter, I'm thinking, boy, if somebody in the front row just had the guts to stick one piece of fucking plastic in his own eye and then call Stephen P. New, they could be a billionaire. But nevertheless, um... The heels bailed. There was a big face-off between Jericho and Sammy, and then they had a big hug. And finally, this long, drawn-out segment had come to an end, or had it? Nah, 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 nah. As soon as they hug, Jericho and Sammy being the they, Starks and Big Bill jump, they just appear and jump them from behind and start getting some of the most lackluster and or immobile heat that I've ever seen on them. But I, I, I'm like, what the fuck? And then the lights go out for a while. I didn't have my watch in the same room with the second hand, or I would have timed this son of a bitch, but it had to be better than 30 seconds of black screen on network television with the announcers going, well, wait, well, oh, oh, but, yeah, uh. and when the lights come on, there's Sting and Darby Allen, who got his name from an old Irish folk song, and they called him Darby Allen. And now Sting and Jericho both, so the, ba the babyface team both have baseball bats. <laughs> And they hit Big Bill about five or six times before he even went down. And with the phoniness of some of the swings, I'm not actually penalizing him for that. And then that set of heels that are completely, goddamn, totally unrelated to the other set of heels that had just bailed, they bail. And the baby faces stand there. Did I... <sighs> Describe that to what you saw, Brian, or was this some kind of indigestion from an undigested bit of beef or a blot of mustard over Christmas? This was an endless, awful segment from the beginning to the very end. Callous. Again, for anyone who wants to pretend like he's a heel with heat, when everyone's booing and smiling, you don't have any heat. They're enjoying the show. And then you get to the substance of it, and it's all this stupidity. And again, him with the paintings. The Sammy stuff wasn't getting over with anyone. Jericho comes out. Jericho, even before the... The Week of Jericho. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> this is the start of the Week of Jericho right there on Dynamite. He's not very good anymore. You can stop pretending, everyone who's been pretending. And then just more. It's just more, and everyone likes... At hey, one point know, or another... Yeah, hold on, hold on. I got his... Regardless, there's another way to put it that sounds even less biased. I'm not saying he is as good as he once was. He's, he's better than some they've got, but he's doing the same stuff and or try... He's doing the same stuff in the ring while trying to be a different person outside the ring every four months, and they've seen him for five years. How can I miss you if you won't go away? It's getting old, and so is he. Maybe he should revamp his schedule rather than his character. You know what else is getting old? The light's going out. Everyone is starting to groan when that happens. No one's yeah. getting excited. It's the House of Black doing it. The devil's doing it. Sting and Darby are doing it. <laughs> Why? This is one of those things from ECW that they got away with not having a logical reason for it. But now you have to have a reason for it. Or stop doing it. It's the laziest thing ever. I get that Sting can't run to the ring, but there's got to be a better way. Well, no, he could, you could. <sighs> They're not even doing it because of that. I mean, if he can have the matches he's having, he can run down the aisleway. It's that they think it's cool. 
and it's not cool anymore. It was, it was like you said, the nineties ECW got away with it. And every once in a while, if you've got, if you can have the lights come back on and there's the rock or Jesus Christ, you know, that's wonderful. Everybody will just forgive you. Even if it takes a minute to get into position, but when it's constant and it's multiple times per show and it takes a while and then it's not anybody that you wouldn't normally see otherwise on the fucking program. And, eh. <sighs> Did it get you excited for the eight man tag at the pay-per-view? Well, it, 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 that's what it set up, but they didn't, book it right there they announced it later on at some point that i was zipping through but what no because i there was no logical reason for a variety of these things to go on in in, in the same segment or the way that they did but nevertheless more is less as they say <laughs> 